continue our team coverage with CBA 2's Elijah Westbrook live outside Brookdale Hospital. He joins us now with more on how Firefighter Klein is being remembered. Elijah. Thank you. Well, Chris and Cindy, it has truly been an emotional night for the FDNY who continues to mourn the loss of 31-year-old firefighter Timothy Klein, a six-year veteran on the force now being remembered as a hero. Hundreds of firefighters and NYPD officers lined the streets surrounding Brookdale Hospital for a procession. They watched as the body of firefighter Klein was brought out. Many had been there for hours, hoping for the best. The acting FDNY commissioner says the structural integrity of the home they were called to played a role in the tragedy. As they were doing so, there was a partial collapse of the ceiling. Four members were caught in that collapse. Three made it out and are stable in local hospitals at this time. But unfortunately, despite the valiant efforts of our members on scene and the staff here at Brookdale Hospital, one firefighter, Timothy Klein, Flatter 170, did not make it out of that collapse. Ladder 170 has dealt with tragedy before. In 2019, they lost firefighter Stephen Pollard. It's a very, very sad day for the fire department today. As was stated, this is the second line of duty death at that particular firehouse in the last three years. Steve was a quiet person who never uttered any ill words towards anyone. Klein was among those who delivered a eulogy for Pollard, who was not only a fellow firefighter, but a friend. Reflecting on the loss of Klein, Senator Schumer called him a hero who bravely served the people of New York. Governor Hochul sent her prayers to the family, saying on this extraordinarily difficult day, we are hoping for a swift recovery for the other firefighters injured. And NYPD Commissioner Sewell wrote, his ultimate sacrifice while battling a three-alarm fire epitomizes what it means to be New York's bravest. Now, Klein is considered to be the second firefighter to die in the line of duty so far this year, yet another loss being felt across the department. We're live this morning here in Brownsville, Brooklyn. Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Okay, Elijah, thank you. Stay with CBS 2 and CBS News New York for continuing coverage of the death of firefighter Timothy Klein. We'll update the latest information on our website, cbsnewyork.com.